So I've got another 50 pip winning trade to discuss with you guys today. Good morning. If you're new, my name is Austin Silver. I appreciate you being here. Today, we're going into my second trade of the week. It's Tuesday, March 17th. Yesterday, I traded GBP USD short, and that's still falling. This morning, I just woke up, checked the VIP chat as I always do to say good morning, and everybody was looking at Euro AUD to the upside, looking to buy it and see it move higher. So, because I know everybody in our VIP chat has taken our course and everybody trades the same systems and speaks the same language, I looked at the trade from my phone, got up, got to the desk, took the position, and literally from when I bought it, it went straight into profit, and now you can see I'm up 36 pips. At one point, I was up 60. I have half the trade closed and my stop loss now locked in profit. So even as it comes down here, the worst that happens is I have 50% locked and it stops me in profit and I don't lose any money. So the second winner of the week, and that's why I wanted to start this video right here, just because I know the volatility is so crazy that this could come down and stop me out. And I want you guys to see how we're still consistently making money even through the crazy volatility of the coronavirus, even through the crazy volatility of all the, basically every stock market in the entire world, having record lows, having record down days. But yet, like I said, we're still making consistent money here. And the underlying idea behind how we're doing that is behind the US dollar weakness, we're seeing Euro base pairs rise a lot. And behind that rise, if you have repeatable entry and exit systems, once you know the direction you should be trading, you're just looking for the best entry system in that direction. And that's all I've been doing. So this morning, this is an A1 entry. The A1 system is what we teach in our beginner course. This isn't D1, this isn't D2, that's the advanced stuff. This is bread and butter, easy beginner A1 entry stuff. And then when you can read risk reward really well, you can actually be a few minutes late to the entry like I was, but still know where your stop loss should be and still be able to come in and take a good trade like this. My initial stop here was only 15 pips, 14 and a half pips. So when I was up 50, 60 pips, you're up four, five, six R almost pushing past that. You know what I'm saying? So now up 30, we're sitting at two R. I've got half the trade closed and the stop loss locked. The management here follows my rules as it does for every trade. And now we just let it go candle by candle. So if you take a look at the 15 minute, I'm going to blow this up for you. First, the one minute I want you to see. Here was the entry. Here's the stop loss locked in profit. Again, this follows the A1 system. If you look at the 15 minute, you can see yesterday we had some long entries here. So again, that bias was created yesterday. I mean, before yesterday, it was being followed yesterday, and then it looks like it's going to be followed again here today. Look at the TDI, perfect. EMAs, perfect in an uptrend. 800 EMAs down here, 200 EMA, and then 50 EMA, all of them in that uptrend, right? So now the price is outside the 8 EMA, and we have our stop loss locked there as well. We're in. We're just taking it candle by candle. Half the trade is already closed because we went up over 2R, and now we just let it rip. This thing has a lot of volatility in it. The ADR, average daily range here, we turn this on oh it is on 455 that's why i couldn't see it so it on average right now is moving 450 pips a day today it's moved 250 so that tells me that past this high we could still move at least another 100 pips more than that so i'm definitely going to give this time if this wants to kick up yesterday this had candle one bar yesterday went 94 pips so again if this is going to move higher, I want to be in it. It's outside the 8 EMA. I've got a great A1 entry. And even if it does come down and stop me out, I would still consider trading it long again today, just getting a better price down here off that Asian session high right here, the overnight high, even yesterday's high. You can see the structural breakout, I hope, guys. If I delete this and I turn off the ADR tool, it becomes really easy to see, I think. Look, if we draw like this, right, you see the level here. So once that level is broken here, you're going to get the retest here, again, because this level comes all the way across, right? And then off the break, the retest, you should get that extended push. Now, of course, it might come back down and touch one more time, and that's where I would look for a potential other entry if this one does come down and stop me out. But I'm going to keep the bias, and I'm going to keep this trade on until it tells me to take it out. And that's why I took some profit already. But we're still up 21 pips. So it's 545. It's really early. I know that you know a lot of people think you can't make money trading this early or whatever it is. You can you don't have to trade when the stock market is open. We are normally done trading before 9.30 New York time. I don't like to trade late in the day. I don't like to hold trades. I want to make my money and I want to be done. That's the part of being a trader that attracted me to this business the most. Get in, get out, and go on with your day. Go do your other businesses. Go on with your life. Enjoy your life, especially right now with this damn virus. I hope everybody is staying safe. I hope that nobody is impacted by this too negatively. Uh, I'm worried about where the lockdowns will take us, but I'm not going to worry about it until it actually affects me more. So, we're going to keep trading. That's where, we're fo where we are focused. So now we have, let's see, well, perfect. Candle closed right there at 545. That candle closed outside the 8 EMA. As you can see, a bullish candle with a big pin testing that high, 
showing a little resistance up there, but I'm still staying in this trade. It can hold that 8 EMA for a long, long time, and I want to be involved in that if it does. We can take a look at the one minute I have that open here. TDI is rising, holding the 50 EMA. I definitely like this to still come higher. And if it doesn't, it'll stop me in profit, and we just move on to the next one good trade. That's how I manage these positions, and it's all detailed in our courses. So take a look at the FX trade here, up 34, 35 now. I'll be back in a little bit, and I'll update you guys. All right, guys, we're 30 seconds away here from 7 a.m. I think we're going to get a nice push here. I'm up 50 pips in the remaining piece of the position. As you can see here on the one minute, it actually came down really close to my stop loss where I have it in profit, but it didn't get me, and I'm in. Pushed back up towards that high that we set back here at like 537, and now it looks like it's going to break for a new high of day here, hopefully in the next 10 seconds or so. If you don't know, what I have here is the 15-minute chart on the left side and the one-minute chart on the right side. And if I again pull up the FX trade, you can see I'm up 46 pips in the remaining piece of this position. I don't have a take profit set yet because I know that these pairs right now are very volatile and that means they can kick. So I want to give it the time and the space to kick. Like I told you guys at the beginning of this video, if we open up just the 15-minute, I'm really looking for this thing to hold the 8 EMA. I know it can stay outside this yellow line for a very, very long time towards that ADR level and I want to give it that space. So even though we didn't close for a new high of day, on that 15 minute candle you see how we didn't break this level here from earlier i still have to stay bullish because we're outside that 8 ema i'm not going to just get out of the trade because we didn't break the level yet look at the next candle already putting through and that's based on the one minute if you can read the one minute chart you're going to have a good idea of where this thing is going and here you can see the breakout you can see the tdi and then this is just basic structure honestly at this point if you pull the brush up you can see this is almost like a channel here that was broken retested and now it's moving out and that's what I'm expecting. And that's why literally in the group chat right now, I'm like telling everybody, I'm like, this is the rocket candle. We're about to get the push. Look. Yeah. So here, I'll take this away. And now you can see we're pushing even harder here. So I wanted to come on and just update you guys because I knew that here we were probably going to get some bullish movement. And I wanted to show you how I'm reading the one minute chart. So already right there, another 10 pips. I'm up 60 now. So I'm going to let this run for another 15 minutes with the remaining piece. Stop is still locked. I'll come back on and keep you guys posted as this thing continues to the upside, most likely. Okay, guys, it is now 716, so I was wrong. I thought we were going to get extension off the 8 EMA for a new high of day, but as you can see, I'm out of the trade now. So if you look at the 15 minute, literally what happened was, well, here, we'll start on the one minute. We literally tested the high of day that we set here at 551, the same high of day that we tested back here at 2.30 in the morning, 2.40 in the morning. So as you can see, that price of 183.85 to 183.99, 180. Four, basically, that's the zone that we're having a hard time breaking. So it's important that we follow good risk management rules. And that's why on a setup like this, I'm going to lock my stop in profit because yeah, it could still bounce and retest that price. It could still bounce and go higher. And if it does, I'll look for a new entry signal and take that. But because we're seeing rejection off that price, it's telling me, as you can see now, look, it's coming lower that there's some bearish momentum into it, and I want to be out of it. Look, I won my trade, and now I just move on to the next one good one. That's what I think most of you are not doing well enough. Take the trade, follow it through like this one, see the risk management through, look at it moving down now. If I didn't have that stop lock in profit, I'd be negative on the piece that I still had. So that's why it's so important to lock this stop and then just wait for the next entry. Just take it on the next entry signal. So I hope that today's video provides you some value. I hope as always, that you're learning and you're seeing how these entry signals are taken, managed, and then repeated every single day. And I hope you're staying healthy during the coronavirus. I know a lot of people are working from home, so it's a great time to get into trading, to start learning. So if you have any questions or if you want to jump in with the courses with us, please, my contact info is down below. You guys know you can get a hold of me in multiple ways, Twitter, Instagram, email, whatever I can do to help you. I'm here to help in any way. So thank you as always for the time. I hope you enjoyed the trade recap. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next trade.